Oh. I'm back again, gun strap back in there. More metal force and lyrics from the young man. A May Young Rain is the ball, spitting lyrics once again. Revenge and approval information now, episode 31. We got KLM, the legend, and Melford back in the building. What's up, y'all? Miami Mel, get money Mel, drink water, a lot of names. KLM. How's it going? How's it going? Uh, Ganola bars. Uh, Revenge and approval information now. Uh, KLM, what's the word, bro? You been going MIA? Hey. Uh, I know you're going to drop a lot of gems today on a, on a lot of the topics, especially the... Uh, the ET topics You feel me? Yeah So that's gonna be good uh, I'm gonna just start the podcast off with a poem From a kid from the city It's called Cause I ain't It's called Cause I ain't got a pencil By Joshua T. Dickerson uh, I woke myself up because I ain't got no alarm clock Drug up in the dirt clothes basket Cause ain't nobody wash my uniform Brush my hair and my teeth in the dark Cause I ain't got no lights on Even got my baby sister ready Cause mama wasn't home Got us both to school on time To eat us a good breakfast Even then when I go to class The teacher was fussing Cause I ain't got a pencil So shout out to her man Yeah that's the layers of stress You feel what I'm saying so, Yeah there could be a lot going on That you just don't know about Facts Yeah I know I like to start the podcast off with positivity So we definitely got more positivity On the podcast The first segment so we're going to talk about The protests that's nationwide All across the world actually And I was shocked when they said all across the world uh, A lot of kids are protesting For climate change Like they literally are leaving school and said education is not more important than climate So it happened again I wonder if it's going to be an ongoing protest uh, This is not the first time that kids actually protest The same thing happened last year for a long period of time as well Then we're going to speak on the teenager that got killed uh, And people that's recording on their phone We're going to talk about how the protesters actually went to Area 51 we're going to talk about how the uh, Democratic, one of the major donors for the Democratic Party was kidnapping hey. black brothers, drugging them up with heroin and raping them. Now, students got new shoes in Baltimore today. Yeah, Coca-Cola Consolidated and Samaritan's Feet International gave away about 600 pairs of shoes here at Furman T. Templeton Preparatory Academy in West Baltimore. Each student got a new pair of shoes and socks. They are extremely excited. You know, I've had a couple of them say to me, Miss Lockwood, these are the best shoes that I've ever had. Oh. So they are extremely excited and they are very, very great. All right, the shoe distribution is one of many that Samaritan's Feet will host this year around the world as they look to serve one million people as part of their Million Shoes campaign. And so far, Samaritan's Feet has distributed more than 375,000 pairs of shoes. Walking out of class, demanding action for climate change. And that's what millions of students did today across the country, from Denver to Washington, D.C., to right here in Baltimore. Do not let our planet die! Climate change is not a lie! Students marched from Bryn Mawr, Roland Park Country School in Gilman to downtown, where they held rallies right in front of City Hall and at the Inner Harbor. In Annapolis, students from Severna Park uh, high school, Severn School, where they all held a rally to emphasize the importance of climate change there as well. And for students, the future of them is the earth for them. Climate change is real. It's no longer something that can be a debate. It is something that we need to treat as a fact and adapt our laws to this rising crisis that is just increasing and affecting us more and more every day. Nearly 5,000 events took place in around 140 countries. World leaders will meet on Monday at the UN for the climate summit. The 18-year-old suspect accused of stabbing a teenager to death during a violent brawl on Long Island faces a judge. 16-year-old Cassine Morris was killed and police say that fight was premeditated. CBS 2's Andre Klein-Thomas was at the courthouse in Hempstead. 
Do you have anything to say? Are you sorry? Tyler Fleck kept his head down as he was led out of Nassau County Police Headquarters. The 18-year-old turned himself into police with his lawyer yesterday. Now he's charged with second-degree murder and the stabbing death of 16-year-old Cassine Morris, and more arrests could be made. We are still investigating the other persons that were with him there. Um, we've identified upward of seven and maybe even one more. Police believe Flack is among the teens seen in the cell phone video during the vicious attack that also injured a 17-year-old. Detectives say Flack came from Lido Beach in what's described as a prearranged fight. Morse's family said the teenager simply agreed to walk a girl home from school, and that caused a group of boys to come after him. Tyler is an associate of the ex-boyfriend of this particular girl in question. Um, He's in his particular crew or group that he hangs out with, and he came there as a partner with his friend to have this fight. He took it to the next level. Police say Flack was arrested in May for assault in a road rage incident in Albany. Then in September, he was arrested in Nassau County for drug possession. Now police are urging more people to come forward with video and information in this case. We can't sit idly by, by as 16-year-olds expire and bleed out on our streets here in Nassau County. So please give us the information so that we can continue this investigation. Detectives say Flack's attorneys did not allow him to be interviewed. Prosecutors are asking a judge to hold him without bond and if he's convicted, he's facing 25 years to life in prison. This year, my mom got me the perfect bag for back to school. These colorful binders help me stay organized. These headphones are just what I need for studying. These new sneakers are just what I need for the new year. This jacket is a real must-have. <laughs> These scissors really come in handy in art class. These new socks, they can be a real lifesaver. <laughs> I finally got my own phone to stay in touch with my mom. All right, man, revealing that pool information now. So we're going to start off uh, KLM. In your opinion, do you think that it's a positive or a negative that they walked out of the schools to protest? Before I actually get into, you know, get, a, get my opinion. I think it's a positive. To be honest, because it seemed like a lot of the older generation or people that's more focused like especially big energy and stuff like that is not really focused on it they see it as oh well when it started to get bad it's not going to be our generation that's going to have to suffer we're going to be gone by time it really get worse if i'm being real about it <laughs> hey yo bro i'm gonna try to laugh bro that was, that was hilarious bro i was thinking the same thing <laughs> like it's probably gonna be them or their kids just taking the brunt of it. Yo, I, I just imagine uh, Mario Party on the 64 when niggas throwing the bomb around. Like, your turn, your turn, your turn. Like, they keep passing the word around until it just, just get uh, destructive. But uh, I think some of them care, though. You can't say everybody. But, so, so you think it's a positive, right? Yeah. All right, uh, Memo, talk, uh, talk to us nice. I think it's a positive, but I also don't... I'm, maybe I'm just cynical, but I don't think public protests like that really do much. Like, yes, they're walking out of class, but what, how is that going to stop the big businesses from polluting? How is that going to stop the military from polluting? Uh, it's, it's not, but I think... It means something in a, in a way that they understand, okay, this is what the next group of kids got their main focus on. Yeah, symbolic. And I think it's positive for that. At one, at some point in time, they're going to be the main population, so I, it's going to have some type of meaning. Just like, uh, you know, mom and pop-up generation, they made it clear that they're not taking no type of racism and stuff like that as far as, you know, separating felons and all that so you feel me they fought like like they fought back hard or whatever and different generations got different stances on the uh the justices what they feel was wrong but 
most people feel like that is wrong and it's even still old oh you know older ogs from the other generations that feel like they've been calling out for this climate change but a lot of people laughed at this at this clip and said that they geeking and they need to go to class and actually learn something real like some people not even taking it serious you feel what i'm saying because people don't care to be honest People don't care because people don't really have to think about that in their everyday life. But it's something that's going to be relevant, even if it's not for you. Like, we already starting to feel the effects. We already feel the effects. You can see what's going on. Like, it's to the point now. It's like, yo, we're going to die if this shit keeps up. Like, we're not even just dooming our species, but we're dooming everything on Earth. And, uh... And I would like to thank Revealing Improving from Revealing Information Now podcast for speaking about climate change and the rainforest. Again, everybody nationally, worldwide, hi. <laughs> so no, I'm joking, bro. I ain't gonna take credit for that. But, but real talk though, uh, everybody been talking about this, and especially it woke a lot of people up. When they found out they burned the Brazilian rainforest that's going to be destroying 20% of our oxygen permanently, you know, forever in the earth history. It's going to be destroying 20% oxygen. So that made a lot of, that woke a lot of people up. You feel what I'm saying? And again, the reason was for um, livestock, right? Uh, See, all right, I'm still going to talk that spicy stuff. See, I got blocked for saying... Was what the reality was. They blocked me a little bit. I had to go to Facebook court. Memo know the story. A couple of people know the story. You feel me? Shout out to the people that support my man uh, Quillen Price. Shout out to my man uh, Emilio. You feel me? Everybody support the podcast. My man D Rich. We out here. So uh, anyway, back to the story. The Brazilian. I think it was because they really didn't care, and they really do want to mobilize it and uh, make it so they build houses. And also, they are covering up dirt because it's a lot of hidden things as far as sexual scandals. And as well as the last podcast we did, Memo, to pertain to the Bahamas for my conspiracy theorists out there. I know y'all love this right now. A lot of people are also speculating that the storms, about the man-made storms, that's why I asked was the possibilities of some stuff. Not like man-made because, you know, they always try to play God, you feel me? And we laughed at him for that, but the uh, the sub- destroying the Bahamas and a lot of these Virgin Islands, these poor places, they was doing a lot of dirt, messing with a lot of our age uh, boys and girls. So it's like they're trying to destroy all of their tracks before it actually come to light. But it's still coming to light. You feel me? I must go to court a lot. Yo, yo, KLM trying to get me blocked again. But we still talking spicy. But at the end of the day, yo, climate change is real, bro. But how do you feel about this next case with the kid, bro? Uh, they people just recording him, bro. Die. They didn't even help him. This shit crazy. All right. I'm gonna get you demonetized, man. But this shit really crazy. Like you watching, yo, this kid, this whole entire life I had of him. You sat there and watched him die. Just because he offered the girl the walk home? Yeah. Fuck wrong with you. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, pretty much, I I think it was the girl's boyfriend. Uh, Yeah, I think they just now started talking. I know the other, other yo who's stabbing them, white boy, uh, that was yo ex. That was shorty ex. So, so that's not even your girl. That's your ex. So you stabbing somebody up over an ex? Yeah, he yeah. That's worth not only not only your life but somebody else. Cause you're going to jail. Like it ain't no ends and no buts. They was like, it- right. That's a fact, bro. Sit there and watch. The shit is crazy. And real quick, yo, what's both of y'all opinion on this Sandy Hill commercial? Do y'all think it's soft, or do y'all think it's nothing too explicit in this time? In this internet period I ain't gonna lie It threw me off When I first saw it But then I was like yo 
that's just the reality we live in now. Right. So, Mel, Melfa, what's your opinion? Did we about get into the music? Honestly, I think it's wild that we come to a point where these commercials exist, and it makes sense that they exist. Mm. That's crazy, bro. Wicked, man. Wicked, 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 wicked. But still, uh, dang. On that note, man, we about to get into some music. When we get back, we're going to talk about some aliens. Kayvon's favorite alien is probably Roger from American Dad or uh, Rick and Morty. I know, I know, yeah, that I'm not alright Sometimes I sit alone and I fucking cry Yeah, I'm in my fucking bag, but yeah, I'm not in last Oh, yeah, we doing shows, yeah Turn with the bros, yeah We can't trust no hoes, yeah It don't need lies Your bitch my line Why she always texting me all the time I'm just trying to get this cheese Young nigga getting green Split that shit with the team Traumatized. You claim you real, but you telling lies. These niggas change, yeah, they gotta die. I've been through it, all this fucking pain. Remember them nights, standing in the rain. Call me Steph Curry, sniper got some range. You fuck with cams, two shots hit your brain. I'm just different, we are not the same. I'm gon' take off like a fucking plane They say I'm crazy, yeah I'm insane Screaming suwu, so you know I bang It's me, midnight, yeah I do my thing Gotta get this I don't have I'ma hit you in your heart like I'm fucking Cupid I'ma leave you there looking stupid like how did he do it Motherfucker saving money like I'm fucking Jewish You got fangs, now it's time to prove it I'm a soldier going back to the motherland Hoping that you understand that I ain't the same man Like damn, I'm talking like a motherfucker Talking like it's me and you, like how do you do? These niggas going crazier than cartoons I'ma break your bones so they turn blue Like you caught the flu You guys gonna see what it do Please know that I want you you about the open book Look out for the fangs, they bite, we come out at night I'm aiming at your head with this motherfucking scythe Yeah, you know the goons looking for a fight No worry, you won't be going home tonight Yeah, you know what time it is, sitting in sin Ready for a bite, yeah, ready to end the life Yeah, gone for the night Ma, I see everything, see my mother losing sleep Ma, I see everything, see the drug dealer trying to make ends meet Ma, I see everything, ma, I see everything Ma, I see everything but the sadness in my own life With the rope that's hanging on the line Right there in my life, gone for the night I'ma hit you in your heart like I'm fucking Cupid I'ma leave you there looking stupid like how did he do it Motherfucker saving money like this fucking Jewish You got fangs, now it's time to prove it Man, the triple X is the wicked dick, suck my wicked dick Fuck the law enforcement, ratchet in my glove department I keep the moolah on the medulla, I keep the medusa on the belt I'm by mom dukes, me who else smoke moon rocks I feel like a million bucks, went in the car, my blunts I just wake and bake with orange cuz, then I pound the puss with morning wood I bitch hit my gas, she grasped my gun 
gonads, I give them orgasms and have a gasp in for air. I've been dope since killer camps, purple haze, wrist like the pearly gates. I won't stop till Brenda saw my baby moms. And on the side, I'm stroking hip hop with my pink cock. I have no morals, I need a moro, fuck tomorrow. Drowning in Moscato, my motto. I fuck nothing lighter than a mulatto. Trying to rap of a quasi model, I'm colder than mono. You can't go with mono with mono with my monotone, you money comb. I shoot at the cloud, these bullets like I sent the guy. Verses like a synagogue, I'm still chasing my first eye. My dicko is my third eye. I sip Houston wine in the car in my Garcia Vega. I smoke haze to meet Jesus and Zeus, I'm zooted. You can smell Henny C when I'm breathing. Get the heckler for sneezing like Hannibal Lecter. I'm like Heath Ledger, I put Zans in my Pomethazine in. Hey man, I'ma hit you in your heart like I'm fucking Cupid. I'ma leave you there looking stupid like how did he do it? Motherfucker saving money like I'm fucking Jewish. You got face, now it's time to prove it. I'ma prove what they already know. This kid is nasty with the fucking flow. So mad if it's in the rhyme flow. Nasty, water flow. Where you gonna go if you with the fuck with these kids one more time, bro? I don't understand the situation. Bernie Sanders, oh, that's so what make him a reparation. That's some sucker nigga type situations. I am sitting back, steady blazing. In the bathroom with K and the men. Marvin X, 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 this shit feels so amazing. Y'all don't get the situation. Yeah, yeah. Hotel, late night, this sitting back, watching anime, feeling amazing. Taco, eat Taco Bell. Fried chicken, I can't believe this situation. Anyway, back to the point. Uh-huh. It's time to get a reparation. In Anybody that's against that, you gon' die in a critical situation. That casket that Lucius was running the river is, that's the situation. Yeah. Motherfucker asking questions, I don't believe them at all. Nah. They want me loose, but we can never fall. Maryland pride got old bait in my veins. Yeah. If you think I'm losing, then you are insane. You might as well load the nine to your brain. Take the A Mac 11 and blow your whole goddamn face away. Permanent lace, uh-huh. you know. No longer say the stupid shit that's irritating to me and everybody. I'ma hit you in your heart like I'm fucking Cupid. I'ma leave you there looking stupid like how did he do it? Motherfucker saving money like I'm fucking Jewish. You got face, now it's time to prove the US it. The Navy has finally acknowledged that videos appearing to show UFOs flying through the air are real. They don't call them UFOs, they call them unidentified aerial phenomena. They, these, uh, the several videos they're talking about were recorded years ago by fighter pilots. Then in 2017, they were made public by the New York Times. More now from our Randy Kay. It's rotating. Images of that rotating thing captured by U.S. Navy aircraft. Sensors locking in on the target. Commander David Fravor saw it firsthand during a training mission, describing it like a 40-foot-long tic-tac, maneuvering rapidly and changing direction. As we both looked out the right side of our airplane, we saw a disturbance in the water and a white object, oblong, pointing north. The object was first sighted in 2004, then similar objects again in 2015. Footage of the sightings, declassified by the military, weren't made public until December 2017 by the New York Times and a group that researches UFOs. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. My gosh. We're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 miles to the west. Oh, I think, dude. This was extremely abrupt, like a ping pong ball bouncing off a wall. The ability to hover over the water and then start a vertical climb from basically zero up towards about 12,000 feet and then accelerate in less than two seconds and disappear is mm-hmm. something I had never seen in my life. The Navy says it still doesn't know what the objects are, and officials aren't speculating. A Navy spokesman simply confirming to CNN the objects seen in the various clips are unidentified aerial phenomena, or UAPs. The UFO reports were first investigated by a secret $22 million program, part of the Defense Department budget, that investigated reports of UFOs. The program has since been shut down, but it was run by a military intelligence official who told CNN They found compelling evidence that we, quote, may not be alone. My deputies in handcuffs. Now, the DA accused him of running a drug den at his apartment in West Hollywood and charged him with a felony for injuring a 37-year-old man last week. Buck is accused of injecting the man with meth, and then he overdosed, went to the hospital, but survived. The DA accused Buck of preying on young, drug-addicted men who are homeless, baiting them with drugs, money, shelter, and injecting them with the drug meth, then playing out his 
sexual fetishes with them. The DA also says Buck's aggressive and bad behavior led to two men's death, Jamel Moore in 2017 and Timothy Dean last January when they overdosed and died at Buck's apartment. Investigative reporter David Goldstein tracked Buck down but didn't say much. Buck didn't have much to say. Well, tonight, an attorney for Moore's family, one of the men who died, did speak to the media. What I see behind me, what we all see behind us, is uh, a really exciting scene. Ed Buck has finally been arrested, uh, almost uh, a little bit more than two years after Jamel Moore was killed in this very apartment. Uh, I just got off the phone with Ms. Nixon, uh, Jamel's mother, and she is elated. I also spoke with the siblings of Timothy Dean, and they too are extremely grateful and relieved. All right, man, revealing them improve information now. Aliens is this. Rick and Morty fans are mad that the Boondocks is coming back because it's taking all of season four type away. <laughs> Let's go. Round of applause for the Boondocks. Shutting Rick and Morty down. Yes, sir. That's how it gets down, bro. The culture wins again. Also, speaking of the Boondocks, KLM says disgusting if anybody ever tried that chicken and donut sandwich. And I agree with KLM. Except for... As if for I eat it separately though, I'll just order it and just eat the chicken and donut yeah, separately. The donut as a dessert, nah, it's, it's boneless. It's a what? sandwich. It's what a sandwich. Happened? Yeah, it's a boneless sandwich. No, what happened? You get diabetes, man. That shit, look. yo, it's a big fucking piece of chicken between two <laughs> donuts, yo. Like, yo, yo, pull up the picture for him, man. You gotta see this. This shit is crazy. Yeah, it look, it look just, it look just like the Boondocks, bro. Yo, you taking five years off your life if you eat one of those sandwiches. <laughs> just like the Boondocks look sandwich, at that. bro. Look at that. Oh, what you, oh no, no. Go ahead, go ahead. Get, get the microphone to uh, Melford. You said you'll eat the sandwich, bro. I'm looking at it. Yeah, I still eat it. That's five years. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. I agree with KLM. That's definitely five years off your life. That's definitely f I'm five I'm not going to finish it in one sitting. Bro, you don't need to. Half of that shit going to kill you. <laughs> Damn. That's definitely five years off your life. Don't do it to yourself. Look, like, man. If, if y'all want to live longer, try Crafted Organics. My man, Curlin Price. It's perfect. Organic, vegan. You feel me? Supplements that will make you live healthier longer as long as you stick to a vegan diet, you feel me? We're gonna improve information now. Another day, another crown. Spread business and love for all businesses out there. You get it? Oh, and what did you say? You said boon. You said the Boondocks. I am happy that the Boondocks. But then they say it was getting rebooted, or is it a new season? Because I'm seeing different. I'm seeing different thing. Oh yes, it's a whole new season. No, they said they're gonna bring all the episodes to HBO with the new season. Basically, Rick and Morty is done, son. No, you feel me? Not even. Oh, not, we, not even. Oh, hold on, we we gonna finish this debate. Oh, we gonna finish this debate on the anime talk. You feel me? But that's not anime. That's cartoon. It don't matter. We still free flow. You know how we get down. We've been in the proof information now. You've been away a little while. I forgive you. You still KLM false ego. So real talk, KLM, break it down. About them uh, aliens, yo, because you was really spitting that uh, that brain food last time. Me and you chopped it up off the podcast. Pretty much, I think it's crazy. I think it's crazy. Like the video, I mean, not the video, the audio you sent this, and the, actually the video that you watched on YouTube is it's just mind blown. Like they just sitting up here admitting it now. Like this is what we saw. We're not sure what we saw. It might be there was like it might be aliens, but that shit is just too fucking crazy. Mm. Honestly, <clears throat> Malfred, I'm still skeptical. Like I want it to be aliens, but it could be anything. Like it could be some random drone that somebody bought and just fucking with them. It could be some weapon from another country. It could be a lot of things. It could be an alien. Like all, yeah. all of those possibilities are equally valid. 
in the situation. So I don't know which one I should. Yeah, there's too much I don't know about the situation. But it'd be it'd be tight for. Mm. And I think you feel me. You can always have open eye. You feel me as far as the possibility of creation goes. Uh, it's some funny looking, like I said before, some funny looking animals. They look like aliens, or they look unworldly. But at the bottom of the ocean is out of space. So you feel me? The possibility of life, you never know what a fish can replicate into. You feel me? What if a fish have uh, its genetic makeup and actually have the ability to, over time period, uh, cause you know they say turtles are older than humans and all that. You feel me? So what if some fish actually over time morphed into something like humans did, but underneath the sea? That's for my conspiracy theories. They like when I be talking spicy like that. I do this for y'all, bro. Like Zora from Legend of Zelda. Like fish people. Zora for real? Yo, you gotta give me a hit, bro. I be watching you play the game, bro. I don't know Whoa. that. I don't know. I don't know what that is, bro. What are we talking about? Like an Aquaman situation. So it's actually an example that y'all just described for what I just said. That's fire, bro. Round of applause, man. Whatever, Zora. I'm gonna look that up. When I, when I think of Zorro, I think of DBZ. That French nigga. I think that nigga French. Uh, no, that's Zorro Bond. Dang. So, oh, Melford showing me. Oh, yeah, bro. That's exactly how I was picturing something like that in my head, bro. That's crazy that I said that. Yo, Melford, man, drink more water. You see what happened when I be drinking more water? I swear I would have never thought of that uh, conspiracy unless I drank more water. Melford. Round of applause, man. That goes out to you. You feel me? So, also, D Max and Hickey, man. Hopefully, y'all bumping that tape. I know y'all bumping that tape. Rockstar in the trench. Uh, be on the lookout for False Ego. Hell, I'm gonna be dropping on iTunes real soon. You feel me? And more Geminology. You feel me? Watch out for that KLM. It's gonna be nasty. So, uh, they got my man, Merlin XXX. And uh, KLM shut it down And he also let me bless the feature as well And uh, Melford We already understand Melford or KLM uh, We already understand that the Democratic Party Is funded by the Ku Klux Klan uh, So is it To me, I know it's not really much a surprise That a lot of the people Who fund the Democrats The donors and all that would be participating in demonic rituals such as raping homeless black men and, and dragging them with heroin. Are y'all surprised? I'm I didn't just wondering. know about the demonic part. No, I'm calling it demonic. Yeah. But yeah, that shit is fucking crazy, man. And like, it took them this long to do some shit about it. Facts. And we about to get into some music, you feel me? We got like two minutes on it. We ain't gonna give it much light. We know it's demonic, and we just glad it's justice. Oh, and there is justice. Yeah, I thought you said he did. He got off. Nah, this didn't charge a nigga with murder yet. But if he's booked, hopefully they cracking his skull like they cover on rock stars. You feel me? But at the end of the day, we don't promote violence. But yes, we do if it's justified, nigga. But at the end of the day, revealing the proof, revealing the proof information. Now I love my sponsors. They're not gonna drop. Look out for that false ego. Rockstar in the trench. You feel me? When we get back, we got more topics for y'all. For my Houston partners, we about to bump some chopping screw from the album Rolling Smoke. All I know is roll, 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 roll. All I know is roll, 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 roll. All I know is roll, 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 roll and smoke. All I know is roll, 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 roll and smoke. All I know is roll, 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 roll and smoke. I'm behind high, yes, sir, I am very stoned. All I know is roll, 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 roll and smoke. All I know is roll, 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 roll and smoke. All I know is roll, 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 roll and smoke. I'm behind high, yes, sir, I am very strong. All 
All I know is roll, 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 roll this more. All I know is roll, 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 roll this more. All I know is roll, 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 roll this more. Yes, I am very strong. Rolling and smoking to ensure my sober thoughts won't open. Bumping, cheating, chong, smoking. Keep that window open. And I do it for the grand word of pot. The only photos you gon' catch me in if you picture me rolling. In the bed with my shoulder, yeah, you know she's smoking. I fucked her in the winter time. She said my dick is cold as Hey, stand up, God, but I'm not. Not joking. They asked me what's your favorite hobbies. I said smoking and roll. All I know is roll, 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 roll and smoke. All I know is roll, 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 roll and smoke. All I know is roll, 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 roll and smoke. I'm behind, yes sir, I am very strong. All I know is roll, 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 roll and smoke. All I know is roll, 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 roll and smoke. All I know is roll, 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 roll and smoke. I'm behind, yes sir, I am very strong. All I know is roll, 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 roll and smoke. All I know is roll, 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 roll and smoke. All I know is roll, 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 roll and smoke. I'm behind, yes sir, I am very strong. All I know is roll, 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 roll and smoke. All I know is roll, 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 roll and smoke. All I know is roll, 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 roll and smoke. Uh -huh. I'm behind, yes sir, I am very strong. Smoke weed every day, I swear that you can't join the team. Uh -huh. I smoke so much weed, I think that I am pissing green. Uh -huh. Word is so baby, we got big lungs, and I swear that you can't hang with me if you can't handle your green. Uh -huh. I was so dumb, we made solid when I'm puffing shit. Always stay low. Keep, so I'm ducking in Pigs, nigga, then you hear it when I'm smoking split I'm a robber, nigga, yeah, I'm dodging all these pigs again All I know is roll, 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 roll and smoke All I know is roll, 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 roll and smoke All I know is roll, 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 roll and smoke I'm behind, yes, sir, I am very strong All I know is roll, 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 roll all I know is roll, 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 roll and smoke. All I know is roll, 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 roll and smoke. I'm behind, yes sir, I am very strong. Roll and smoke, shit. Roll, roll and roll and smoke. I am very strong. I've been what? Thinking about suicide. I know, I know, yeah, that I'm not alright. Sometimes I sit alone and I fucking cry. Yeah, I'm in my fucking bag. What? But yeah, I'm not in last. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we doing shows. Yeah, turn with the bros. Yeah, we can't trust no hoes. Yeah. She always texting me all the time. Yeah, I'm just trying to get this cheese. my cheese. Young nigga getting green. Split that shit with the team. With my team. Fuck your ass, make you a motherfucking saint. No hey, hey, getting money. Yeah, and I'm on my way. I'm getting paid. Fucked up, yeah, I'm traumatized. You claim you real, 
But you telling lies These niggas change Yeah, they gotta die I been through it All this fucking pain Remember them nights Standing in the rain Call me Steph Curry Sniper got some range You fuck with Cam Two shots hit your brain I'm just different We are not the same I'm gon' take off Like a fucking plane They say I'm crazy Yeah, I'm insane Screaming Suwu So you know I bang It's me, midnight Yeah, I do my thing Gotta get this D-A-N-I-E-L Space H E R N A N D E Z. All right, good afternoon. I'll ask you to keep your voice up and speak slowly and distinctly for the benefit of everybody in this large courtroom. Counsel, you may inquire. Thank you, Your Honor. Good afternoon, Mr. Hernandez. Thank you. Mr. Hernandez, how old are you? 23. You're older. You go by any other names? Yes. What are those? Uh, Takashi. Uh, Takashi 69 um, Picks Yeah Mr. Hernandez, where were you born? Uh, Bushwick, Brooklyn How far did you go in school? <sighs> About the 10th, uh, 11th grade or so, like that What? Mr. Hernandez, are you currently in federal custody? Whoa. Yes, sir Approximately when did you start living in federal custody? Uh, about no, uh, November 18, 2018. What were you arrested for? Uh, racketeering charges, um, you know, uh, violent crime, shootings, uh, drug distribution. At some point, did you decide to cooperate with the government? Yes. When did that happen? Uh, a day after. Um, November 19th, the day after, uh, we, we was taken down. In connection with your cooperation, have you pleaded guilty to certain crimes? Yes. What crimes did you plead guilty to? Um, I believe it was uh, nine counts of racketeering, um, shootings, uh, and, and drug distribution. And you listed racketeering as one of the crimes to which you pleaded guilty. Were you a member of any gang? Yes, sir. What was the name of the gang that you were a member of? Uh, the Nantre Bloods. Nantre Blood. Approximately when did you become a member? Uh, around, uh, I would say November of 2017. What sorts of things did Nine Trey members do? Uh, we participated in a lot of, uh, you know, violent crimes. Um, Robberies, assaults, uh, drugs, sorts of that nature. Mr. Hernandez, do you recognize anyone in the courtroom who was a member of Nine Trey when you were a member? Yes. Who do you recognize? And if you, if you can identify that person, uh, can you identify where they're sitting in an article of clothing that that person may be wearing? Uh, Hall, Anthony Ellison, has a gray suit on. Um, Luke Ajumai Mack has the brown suit on. With the white thing on his head. Your Honor, may the record reflect that the uh, witness has identified Mr. Mack and Mr. Ellison? Yes, the record reflects that Mr. Um, um, Hernandez, in sequence, uh, uh, identified uh, Mr. Ellison and then Mr. Mack. All right. So we're going to do a popular topic that's going on in hip-hop Because it still is a hip-hop podcast as well uh, Shout out to my man Greedy You feel me? Yeah, hold on, y'all get Y'all want to give any shout-outs? We really know why I give this nigga Takashi much time We already know this nigga Riley Tooley I just want to give a positive message out of all this I do Y'all don't got no shout-outs? Shout out to those who drink water and wish to drink water in the future. I highly, I highly recommend it, y'all. Talk to them nice. KLM? You got any shout outs, bro? Um, 
Anybody in general, family, you feel me, your friends, anybody, bro. To the nigga, to the nigga Batman. Who? To the nigga Batman. You only got, you only got your superpowers because you was rich. Oh, hmm. Are you trying to say it's privilege? Hmm. Okay, I did. Uh, but Melford, drink more water. What's your question, bro? I've been seeing all these memes about six nine. Yeah. Is there a video of him telling on people or people are just assuming that he's doing that? Nah, this nigga's telling, nigga. I just I got the clip. <laughs> you feel me? It's it's confirmed. It's, all right, no no, all not, right. They're not all right. just making them up. All right, so we don't we don't we never listen to none of this nigga music because we don't really listen to the radio. Of course some songs you would hear it. Like oh yeah That's that song But we never listened to it You feel me So from my other perspective This nigga Was popping in his hood uh, Niggas basically stored in him uh, Beat him up Kidnapped him All types of stuff uh, He was still rocking with him But they really wasn't rocking with him But he felt like he was protected He ended up folding on him One of the niggas shot, slept with his girl And uh Yeah you said what? I said that's a lot I mean that's just what happened. Talk to us nice cat no? You know what's funny? That the most niggas that's mad about this situation is the niggas that was a couple years ago listening to him. I think that's the funniest shit that's going on right now. I don't know anybody that listen to this nigga. Man, the yeah. niggas that was bumping them like on my social media and stuff, the same niggas that was posting his videos and songs. Hey. It's like mad as fuck right now. Mm. It's it's hilarious to me. I love it. See, this is a he's he's a blessing because all these goofy niggas out here that want to do goofy stuff like this nigga. Now you understand what the consequences is. You feel me? Help your people instead of hurting your people. You feel me? That's just the life lesson at the end of the day. And this nigga told. Do y'all think this nigga should have told if, if the niggas basically violated him completely? And Black Jesus is coming on right now, by the way, the new hey. season. But do y'all think this nigga's a rat? To me, it doesn't even matter to me. No, I'm just asking, do you think he's a rat? Oh, yeah, he told, he told. That's the definition. Right into it. Okay, Chuck E. Cheese. Remember, do you think he's a rat? Yeah, like, like you said, if he told them, there's no other way around it. <laughs> uh, see, I'm not going to name the niggas because I don't do that. I don't name drop. But they said he had a reason because the gang turned on him. They start having sex with this girl. They kidnapped the nigga in the first place. You feel me? All types of stuff. Stop fucking with them. You continue. You continue to fuck with them. Say it one more time. You continue to fuck with them. Like, if you knew better, why didn't you get out of that situation? You had money. And that's and that's the life lesson that you have to learn. You feel me? And I understand some environments are hard, and you gotta try to maneuver the best you can. But at the end of the day. You gotta help your people, not hurt your people. Revealing the proof information now. We about to get into Wanda Walker Payne. KLM speak that speak. That honey old bay. What more can we say? False ego. Wanda Walker Payne. Let me be, I'm just trying to free my mind I'm trying to take it one step at a time You call my phone, but I hit it climb Shit, I'm running out of time I got patience for the love, if you didn't know I feel the demons, they all around you They pouring into your skin You like a ball of sand, right? You drag me down to the abyss I hit you, motherfucker, hope that you feel this shit Hit you with a full clip, but I won't miss When the storm hits, I'm just speaking my mind But the game flip, brother, give it some time I'm not talking in riddles Around, we gotta, gotta wake, wake up, up or we, we just die. die. We dropping like flies. I remember living in a Dakota sack, wearing all black. Trying to find myself, I think I need some help. Fuck that up, I'ma get up by myself. Cause I'm used to being by myself. God, I need some help. Waking up, drinking wine, trying to flush away my sins. The split phone to slow me down just in case my mind spins. Waking up, smoking weed, trying to burn away my sins. Drinking my red wine. To mellow me out just in case my mind spins Another day, another crown, then let's begin Another day, another crown, then let's 
life again. The beginning of a new chapter. It took me a couple of years of life lessons in order for me to decide what I'm really after. Life lessons such as going through mouth depression, gun possession, drug lessons, along with a list of unlawful confessions. This here stops you with life lessons. My little nine, way from 99, born 95, on a nigga raw paper. While my OG the one lies, you can coat 45. Old school shooter on Scotty and BS like Jeffy 45. Always pulling out 45. Is he a legend? Because he's 45 with two nines. Or did 18 years for 85 grand and two dimes? Or because everyone knows he has lines to blow your mind, but you judge him all the time because he's too much. Flush away my sins, this blood road to slow me down. This sickens my mind spins. Waking up, smoking weed, trying to burn away my sins. Checking my wine, developing out. This sickens my mind spins. Another day, another crown. I fear we're about to face a brand new peril. <laughs> Finally, our turn to have fun. Show me what you've got! They're coming. Okay, let's run! Hurry! This is life or death. Are you alive? It's gonna catch us! I don't know what's going on. We can't let these villains try anything! I will enjoy beating you within an inch of your life! <laughs> Just give up. You have no chance of winning. I'm never gonna give up until I win. And that's why I'm gonna keep fighting with all I've got. I just have to believe in myself. If you think we're gonna go back there without a fight, you're crazy. The truth is, I would rather give my life than lose! Time for our counterattack! Remind the world what you can do, heroes! It's not over. You haven't won! We haven't given up and we're not going to! We're gonna end this whole thing right now! Alright, revealing the pool information now. This is the final anime debate. I apologize if we were sloppy with it. Uh, but we're gonna be more organized. Uh, we in the building. I know you have requested this, so we are back. And I will today I will be representing the Gold Piccolo as the best anime character of all time. False. Uh chill out, let me talk. Uh Barto, my Barto fans, I got y'all today. They are gonna show some respect to our anime series. False. And, and we're gonna start off with Dragon Ball Z versus Naruto. Now I hate when people say the most stupidest thing, such as I want people to say the dumb, the dumbest thing I ever heard in my life. Dragon Ball Z has no character development of storyline or character development in general. It's the most stupidest debate ever for Dragon Ball Z, bro. They clearly have a whole story. You feel me? I don't understand, my nigga. Like they literally broke it down uh, from Dragon Ball to Dragon Ball Z to Super. And I know a lot of people hate GT, which I don't understand. You feel me? Maybe because all the characters wasn't in it. Uh, who knows? But to the people who say that, I don't even take y'all serious, bro. You feel me? Because y'all thesis don't make sense. And yes, I just, I just want to say the only other anime that could be better than Dragon Ball Z is Naruto. You feel me? And One Piece as well. That's it. Any other debate, I don't want to hear it. It's nothing to talk about. But Melfi, hey. what's, what's your opinion, bro? Oh, oh my fault. Go ahead, Kayla. Whoa, whoa. Just jump over me. All right. All right. Disclaimer. Disclaimer. I do. I'm not going to say. I actually enjoy Dragon Ball Z. 
Like I'm gonna get that out the way Before I say what I wanna say Because people gonna be like When I start to explain this Especially die hard Dragon Ball Z fans Okay I'm, no, I'm, I'm listening What people are mostly saying is It's kinda like The bare minimum For character development But I understand it's a fighting show So that's gonna be the focus of the show I do understand that But when people go to shows Or some people Depending on the viewer you are You're looking for like heavy storylines Cause it's just like Oh I'm a villain We fight And cycle and repeat Goku gets a new power up Or or something like that The rest of the game power up It kinda I see I see the repetitive Uh So Real talk Before Memo will get the mic That's what you think Dragon Ball Z is I don't think that's all it is But I think when it pops up so many times People just get bored of it Like I do see the gems And then I do see the fun moments The fun fights and stuff like that Dragon Ball Z has always been good with that But like I think people is just like Okay we've been seeing That type of formula For so long it's starting, We starting to get used to it uh, Alright Melford, go ahead and give your opinion on anime real quick. Which one do you like better between Naruto and DBZ? And my fault, KLM, I got to ask you that as well. But I know you was about to disrespect DBZ, so I didn't want to give you that right. I apologize. I'm being biased. <laughs> this is actually a hard question because I do like both. But I might have to say DBZ mm, 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 mm. just because it's just, it just inspires me. Mm, oh, inspired. I like that word. Talk to us Honestly, nice. though, I do think that's a legitimate flaw with the power scaling in the universe itself to where it's like the only option you have is to make somebody even stronger and then you just keep going and going and going. So so, so you're giving credit to KLM uh, statement. Okay. But I also think there are some like plot points, especially in Super, right. that I think they just let go they didn't even try and do anything with like in particular there's two instances krillin's power before he, they went to the tournament he, they showed he had a new power that was never to be seen in the tournament not only that but they talk about the angels as well and this is a minor spoiler but they don't talk about that ever again i don't think they need to keep talking about them i don't see the purpose then why did they introduce them and they made it seem like, oh, this now we're about to go into some plot about the angels and who they are and the king of the universe is in them. Ain't that his name? Uh, hey, oh, uh, yeah, yeah he's, he's the ruler of all the universe. I forgot his name, though. But hey. that nigga's hilarious. But real talk, I think it was no real reason for them to introduce the angels. I think they gave you like oh yeah these is the angels and this is their ability but let's get back to which i really love goku's sense of humor of his character development he's a funny guy to show vegeta is like you feel me his counterpart a rival that turned to his mans uh it's one of them in every anime you feel me first of all i think sasuke went the hardest and out of that and then as well as hold on, whoa, 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 and then as well as as well as Piccolo being so superior, but I don't, that's the only thing I don't like. I don't like Piccolo's character development. I think Piccolo's character development is trash. Like they didn't really focus a lot on Piccolo, and Piccolo slept on. He's probably the strongest Z fighter in the in the world. And he definitely saved the universe from Broly destroying the universe. And that's with no debate. So if it wasn't for Piccolo, there would be no, you feel me, after universe. Everything would be gone because he taught them how to fuse again. You feel me? No debate. But KLM, real talk, who are, what are your three favorite DBZ characters? You feel me? Yeah, I'm sure. Wow, number one. Say nah, I'm fucking with you. Oh, no, we're being serious. Don't, 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 don't joke, don't joke with that anime. Don't, don't nobody like y'all. Don't nobody like people that joke with Dragon Ball Z. 
Yeah, cause y'all y'all can't take other people's criticism. Criticism. Oh, that's a like Rick and Morty fans. No, y'all just get mad if somebody is like, "Oh, this is not the best thing I've ever seen." Y'all be like, "Blast for me." No, I, I I don't think it's that at all, my brother. I think it's on the lines of you have to understand that everything that y'all say, we have a response for it. We can back it up. We can show y'all emotion, romance. Uh, but it's more whoa, 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 about that. Whoa, comedic humor. We know we can show y'all every all of the principles of the stats of any box to cover the greatest animes of all time. That's why Dragon Ball Z will rank as the best anime of all time. But you, know you also gotta realize people have their own opinions. You can't just be like, oh, since I think this is the. I think this is the best show that's ever been made in anime history. Doesn't mean the next person next to you is going to have that same opinion. That's where I think the Dragon Ball Z fans fuck up at. Because they get mad when somebody criticizes the show or something. They are still entitled to their own opinion at the end of the day. That's a fact. But we get mad when they say stupid stuff like it's no character development. That's all. How can you tell them how to feel about the show? I can see if they being assholes and shit about it, but if they're just talking about something they don't find interesting in the show, or well, what is you, like, what's the point of getting steamed about it? Because nigga, we be so confused when niggas say, "Oh, it's just power ups." Uh, when niggas is tired, nigga, I don't know, no anime except for Full Wars, uh, the basketball anime. You feel me? That niggas don't get power ups. Every anime Nigga Pokemon get power ups But not on the same equivalent of Dragon Ball Z And second of all Not every anime does that Like I watch a shit ton of anime And some animes you probably only get like one power up Or like in um, The Promised Neverland It wasn't no power ups in there They just learned Oh It's different flows And I, that's a dope show by the way Run of applause for that In the perfect week Uh my thing with the power up thing Do you know why they get power ups? Memo or KLM Can you answer that question? You feel me? Because they always introduce a stronger being than Goku Thank you bro So what's the problem? People, Some people see that as repetitive Like Oh you didn't know that It was a nigga like me out here Then they trained to get stronger <laughs> Then it was like, but that's that, that's in every anime, bro. It's not in every anime. Yes, it is. We just established that in the Promise Neverland that it's not nobody like that. It's not a person, but it's always an obstacle that replaces the what the uh the higher thing is that they have to achieve over. It may not be it may not be an individual person, but it's a thing. You feel me? It don't matter. It's something. Story over and over in Dragon Ball Z. When you're talking about obstacles, it's different obstacles. It's not just the same obstacle. That's why people say it's different. That's why people get tired of it. It's the same thing. Oh, train. Oh, the nigga come whoop their ass. They train. They power up. Somebody from a third uh, person perspective, from a, another unique perspective, what's your opinion on everything we just said? I'm biased. Uh, I don't think I can be unbiased Since I like Dragon Ball Z But Do you, do you understand this, the, I think the, you're talking about Shonen anime in general Which I do think I think Dragon Ball Z and those kind of stories Like the originals Like those kind of started it And that's why we were more Sensitive to Power creep And just powering up over and over again Cause that was new back then, but people were saying we've had enough of it. I don't mind it though. I don't know. I don't know no anime that don't power up. Hunter, 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 Hunter. Them niggas power up, bro. No, they don't. They just yeah. have powers, bro, bro. And but, they, use, they use strategy. Well, DBZ, y'all niggas can say, oh, they turn to a super sense. A power up, uh, 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 uh. You're crossing the line, nigga. Come on, man. What? <laughs> it's crazy, bro. But wait, but uh, real quick, real quick, yo, you in the background, cut. Real quick, you in the background. Uh, the most powerful Japanese characters voted. You feel me? Number one, Goku. Number two, One Punch Man. 
Then you got Naruto number three. Uh, my man Ichigo number four. You feel me? What's your from Black Cobra number five? That's crazy, bro. Luffy number six. You feel me? Uh, this nigga look like Link. We gonna skip him. This nigga look like he on Super Smash. Uh, <laughs> number number eight. That's they got uh, whoa, gone. Number nine. They got the nigga with the gun. Number eight. They got some other nigga. And then Deku was last. Deku made top ten. Memo actually introduced me to My Hero Academia, and I tell people all the time, it's nothing but an X Men. You feel me? That's crazy, though. I wasn't expecting the guy from Black Clover. I, I, I was shocked as much as you. And I don't understand why Piccolo's down on the list. And, uh, who? Because Goku. And Memo, who's your favorite DBC characters? Give me three. Like Carolyn, bless me what? 17 Regina Freezer. Wow, that was fast. My favorite DBZ character is actually number not Frieza, Tingo. Okay. My favorite Dragon Ball Z character is number one Piccolo, then Gohan, and then I like uh which Gohan? Then I like Goku. You so you so what? Which Gohan? Which era of Gohan? Kid, teen. Adult. I like all Gohan, all Gohan developments because Piccolo Razor. Or which timeline? Future or Especially when he was Piccolo student, when he defeated Cell. When he was the strongest on the planet. So teen. Huh? Or just you just, just like it like across. In, no, yeah, I like him in general, but my, one of my favorite Gohan moments is when he set out in the Cell series. Okay, so I got another question for you. What's which up, bro? timeline are we talking about? The one that leads to Super? Or the one that diverges into the alternate timeline where the androids fucked up the earth. All right, let me just say this as far as Super goes, because I never really got a chance to speak on it, speak on it. Super, I like what they did with Gohan in a way, but not entirely. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's like, I feel like he should have had a longer going in the tournament. We come to find out that Gohan doesn't become. The fighter that you really think you feel me, you in the uni universally, he's nowhere near top five, so that's kind of crazy to find that out. And I like that they always still with Piccolo fans, they gave us a mystery because Piccolo got put out by a little bug, so we never really know the proper duo of Piccolo and Gohan or separately how strong Piccolo. Would have been up against Jiren You feel what I'm saying I think he was still lost it, No it's it, It's not about It's not about that I can't hear you uh, Melford It's not about that It's about it's Yeah just, but If he got out by the bug I feel like Jiren would do A hundred times No Jiren fought him head on He got out By the bug on some, on some sneak tip bro Like I don't even think He would even touch Jiren. Yeah, y'all talking crazy now. Neither of them. Nah, y'all talking crazy now. Thank you. See, I, I agree with KLM. So, uh, so I can't hear you, bro. You in the background, bro? I can't hear you. I'm talking about you, the bias with Piccolo. What happened? The bias with you <laughs> on go, Piccolo. So this, he said, I'm being biased with Piccolo. All right, that's cool. Whatever. I, I, I don't see how I'm just stating facts But uh My favorite Naruto characters Top three I like Rock Lee Barto And Naruto What's y'all's? Go on um, All time He's not on Naruto Oh you talking about Naruto Oh Yeah oh, oh, oh. That's you know it, it don't matter who it is and you can put Barto in there too. And real talk, real quick, yo, Barto, why you thinking? Barto fans, yo, we out here, man. Barto is just as good as Naruto, man. It's not on the same level yet as Legacy, but it's just as good. You feel me? And even Malfoy agreed to it. I don't agree to that. I oh, okay. Just try to put me in the spot. Make his own thing. Worldwide. Never 
even almost suggest that it's as good or even on the same level as Naruto. I just would. Uh, Melford, do you realize that we're on iTunes and Google and all that? <laughs> so you just made me look like a fool. We're, we're nah, you just spoke for me. That was all you, man. Nah, we just joking, y'all. Uh, but real talk, though, in my personal opinion, I think Barto's up there. I think his character development should should be better on Jump Force. He should be stronger. Uh, he's going to be the next Hokage. Why not make him stronger? You feel me? What's up, KLM? Yo, this nigga crazy. My top, I don't, I don't know actually. Yeah. To be honest. Mm, okay. For me, I say Sasuke, Neji. Ooh. I'm talking about Neji from part one. I don't okay. know really much about Neji from part two. And, and I'm torn between Kakashi and. Okay. And also, I'm going to say Gabra is underrated. Very underrated. Garver is very, 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 very underrated. You feel me? Garver's. You good? <laughs> Alright, man. So, anyway, back to the podcast. We had some interruptions. So, if y'all had the audio skip, uh, that's what it was. One of the uh, co hosts got into hey. altercation with somebody. Uh, but they're better now. I drank more water and everything's very uh, fine. I'm wasting your time. All right, real talk. So the anime, uh, KLM. Now, what's your top three favorite characters of all time, bro? Uh, surprisingly, I like um. Oh, what's his name? Toby. Hey. To- what's his name? Yeah, Obi. Obito. I like Obito a lot. I think it's just because he's weird and the um like his whole entire arc is crazy. Like the person he gave his eye to, he ended up having to fight because of fucked up circumstances. I'm not I'm not really sure about you know him as a character or his show at all. Can you break it down? So pretty much, he was a part of um Kakashi squad. Like when they was younger, and he ended up getting crushed by boulders and stuff, and he gave what you call him his eye. He gave Kakashi his eye. And you, you see why I don't like him? Cause nigga, we represent Leaf Village. Rock Lee is the best uh, character of all time. In how did you lead into that? This is how we do. But go go back to your statement. Um, I forgot the guy's name who saved um, Obito's life, but he, yeah, Madara, he ended up saving him. Then Obito saw Kakashi kill the um, other person in that group that Obito actually liked, and he he just wanted Kakashi to keep her safe. That was his only goal for him. Pretty much, yeah. Okay, but. The reason why Kakashi killed him, uh, killed her, is because I think what what happened? I think they was gonna. I think another village was gonna capture her and try to get secrets or something. It was something. I can't remember the specifics on it. Everybody always wanted secrets, all the time. Mm. But then Obito ended up seeing it, so he was like, "Nah, fuck that." Um, I'm gonna make it my word to destroy you, Kakashi. Pretty oh, alright. Or right, I mean, it's reasonable. Uh, Malfoy, what's your top three? Uh, okay, then what's your top three, bro? I thought you finished the list. I thought you said Krillin. You didn't say Krillin? Oh, my fault. Um, I know people gonna be like, I'm wild for this. But I like um, the Indian boo. His name is Oob. And that's one of my favorite characters of all time. Like, 
like I like Uber a lot. I wish yeah, they expanded on. Yeah, I say this, I tell Memo this all the time. Because it'd be interesting to see what the right shape of the winner. Cause he's the reincarnation of Boo. So like he's super crazy and he was a student of Goku. So Goku is a fighting genius. Like, I'm gonna be real with you. That nigga is is slow and pretty much everything else, but is a fighting genius. Mm. That's oh, the, that's and mm. Vegeta. Okay, wow. Surprisingly, the man who harasses Dragon Ball Z the most ha- loves all three Dragon Ball Z characters as for his favorite of all time. This was all time favorite anime characters, bro. For anime characters, I thought yes. this was Naruto. No, no, you locked in. You, you locked no. in. No, yes. You locked in. We, remember, you're a phony. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you remember how crazy? No, we didn't. We go. All, all right, y'all. I'm gonna give y'all my list now. My yeah. list is gonna be. I didn't even get my top three for Naruto and Dragon Ball. Excuse, excuse, excuse me, sir. Nah, fuck you. <laughs> They gonna hear it. They gonna hear it back, bro. Uh, in no particular order. Spike from Cowboy Bebop, Mob from Mob Psycho, and Kilua from Hunter Hunt. I'm very surprised about that list. Uh, uh, you said what? You said who? Do, you said why am I surprised about your list? I'm I'm surprised about your list because uh, I think I I didn't think that Mob Psycho would be this high on your radar just yet. You feel me? Oh no! Yes, I love Mob Psycho. I love the animation. I love the story. I like Mob. Oh yeah, I got you, but I I just didn't think that's dope. You feel me? Cause I know you appreciate Mob Psycho. I just didn't think that Mob Psycho would actually be on that list. From one of your top, you feel me? That's deep, you feel me? Cause you you are that hard anime fan. You the one who got me into it heavy like that. So I feel like that's deep. That Mob Psycho is on your list like that. Round of applause for Mob Psycho. Uh, my my list, and then we gonna get back to DBZ's number one fan secretly. Uh, I gotta I gotta say my list real quick, cause y'all not about to sit up here and stain my name like this. Like y'all not about to do that. Like I said, my for oh, my oh, favorite. Oh, oh, staying your name. What do you mean by staying your name? You named drag. You named some fine anime there, no, sir. Because I thought we was talking about the Naruto and Dragon Ball Z. Because I didn't even get my turn to list. Everybody heard it, sir. Everybody heard the question. Like I was saying, mine's nah. Y'all can eat my dick. But like I was saying, mine's for all time is death. Is that from Soul Eater, Kid Death. Mm, yeah. Then Alphonse from Full Metal Alchemist. Mm. And Gone. Name a fake nigga that was not exposed. Why y'all niggas acting so surprised that Takashi told Rest in Peace, Nip Hustle? Yeah. You said you said Gone? Yeah. I like Gone a lot. He goes through a lot as a fucking kid. Like, so, this shit is crazy, man. So, so one more time, what's your top three? My top three is Kid Dove from Soul Eater. And then it's I never, watched, I never watched Soul Eater. Number two, Alphine. And then Gone. Hey. Okay, I, I love Gone, by the way. Memo put me on Hunter Hunter. I, I, you feel me? I'm going to give him his props for that. I just like, I like Hunter Hunter overall. Just yeah, it's pretty cool, man. It's pretty that cool. That shit is fucking ridiculous, man. Like, hey. I don't know about that. Memo get a hard one from that show. He about to get in the mic. A hard? Like, yeah, that's okay. Adrian, <laughs> if you could be any weapon, what would you be? If I could be any weapon? Yes, you are the weapon. Uh, I would we consider weapon loosely. Like you can use use your imagination. I would be a germ, because germs cannot be defeated. It has to be a man-made weapon. Man, man makes germs as well. I can't be a, Y'all niggas is crazy I can't be a germ It's supposed to be What I wanna be It has to be like an object Y'all niggas is crazy bro It gotta be from this From, from this time Uh 
I I would be I would be a rock. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. Okay, I can see hey. it. Yeah. I would be an electric chair. What? Uh, electric chair. And you judging me for picking a rock? Well, the thing is, I don't have to turn into a weapon to the electric chair all the time. I could just use electricity powers and just give myself electricity. So what's the problem? Why can't I be a germ, my nigga? If you can give yourself electricity powers, I is, can't it, be a is germ? an electric chair one an object, two a man-made object? Are both of those things true? Yes, I, but so you haven't heard of scientists creating germs and diseases? I'm just that if man-made. And with the object part, I'm off by one. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, half of it. Uh, uh, I got, I got half the test right, my nigga. You failed. You need to sing. <laughs> I don't get, I don't get no credit, man. That's crazy. And this coming from Dragon Ball Z secret fans, so I give him that. So, uh, KLM, I guess you, you get to be your weapon now. Interesting question, by the way. At first, I was thinking like a torch because I was thinking about that idea. But then, I would just be nerve gas. Oh, but he can be gas. Okay. Uh, it's a man-made. It's object. not an object, though. No, it's it not. Is. No, it's not, bro. It is. No, it's not, bro. It's not, my nigga. It's not, my nigga. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's not, my nigga. It is. Yeah, bro. How is it how is. is nerve gas different from me being a germ? Because that's a living thing. Yeah. You pass that's half a the living t- thing. You pass half the test, my nigga. Nah, I, but I have to side with Kayvon. I but just you, considered it. But y'all disagree that it's man-made germs. So I don't understand what y'all saying though. What are y'all talking about? Actually, I feel like it wouldn't make sense. Like, how would you? How would that work? Like, would you have a meister? Like what? For me? Yeah. 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 Like I'm, a, yes. Like a grenade. Like a grenade. Nigga, you can put germs in a grenade. Still, it's mad. It's still a living thing. It's a germ. It Nerve lives. Gas. Nerve gas is not a living thing. So, so now y'all add more stuff to this. No. All my street niggas, are y'all confused? My hood niggas, are y'all confused? My conspiracy theorists niggas, are y'all confused? My scientists, niggas, are oh, y'all confused? Like, it's literally only two rules. I don't understand how you... It can't be a living thing. An animate object in something that a human made, you're like the human made. But then it's still a living thing. Slow it down. I just diss you for my battle rap, niggas. But, uh, real talk, bro. I, I, I mean, you be bending these rules, bro. It ain't been in the rules. I think you just don't understand them. You the nigga that played Dungeons and Dragons. And I never just played a draw the character. I never played a game in my life. I played Minecraft, 2K, Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars is the best Grand Theft Auto game of all time. Uh, number two is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and that's the list. And number four, I never beat Grand Theft Auto Five in my life, but all for games. Back to anime. The Boondocks and Black Dynamite are animes. I don't care what nobody says, bro. They're animes, bro. And Memos f- said he felt like my uh, hypothesis can be backed up with facts. You feel me? Just off the word it, animation itself means the proper definition by law. Of uh, the world, a proper language is correct. I I look at anime as a medium and not really as a genre, to be honest. Like, there's it's just so widespread that I think it's kind of hard to nail down what exactly anime is or what that looks like. Because some people in Japan call some things that we would call a cartoon anime. There, basically the same thing I'm saying. I like that. Okay, I'm so basically I, saying I, the same thing. I really don't distinguish between I'm them all the, that much. I'm just saying, like aesthetic is is usually very different. Obviously different from a Western cartoon. 
And uh, real quick, I'm gonna give a shout out to my Filipino supporters. Uh, I'm in the Philippines as well now. Revealing the information now. You feel me? Be in the Philippines. So Germany and America and the Philippines. Three countries. But that sounds cool. You feel me? Keep it moving. Also available on iTunes, Spotify, Facebook, uh, YouTube, soon to be SoundCloud, uh, Real Talk. Look out for that KLM False Ego. It's gonna be everywhere, man. Look out for that. It's fire. Uh, it, yeah, supporting them crazy on YouTube. I know you felt good about that. Uh, just hey. rocks on the trench. Uh, D Max. You feel me? AKA my man Midnight and Lil Hickey. You feel me? Go get that tape. You feel me? Talk to us nice, man. So back to it with this freaking Morty thing. My personal opinion I think that they only made Rambo because uh, Liam Neeson said nigga. Because Rambo, the new Rambo and Taken is the same movie. But back to it. The Boondocks is going to destroy Rick and Morty. And that's false. That's just Ooh. false. They're two different mediums. Like, yeah, they're both comedies, but they're two different types of comedies. I think the same people that's going to be watching the Boondocks is going to be watching Rick and Morty also. And nobody said that it, there wouldn't be. I'm not saying they're not, but you're saying they are going to get destroyed. They're on two different platforms also. Every classic gets compared, bro. This is what happens, bro. Every comedy gets compared. Like, oh, yo, what's funny? Boondocks, Rick and Morty. Like, South Park fans got the biggest fan base ever. You feel me? But I think Family Guy fan base is right up there with South Park, though. I think they, like, neck and neck. You know that they're declining, though, right? Family Guy or South Park? Family Guy. Oh, I don't I don't know. I'm more of a South Park than Family Guy. It's starting to decline. But Family Guy's pretty funny. People are getting tired of the cutaways. Like they've been doing cutaways since nineteen ninety nine. All I keep hearing is y'all talking about people getting tired of everything. Yo, you gotta look deeper into the shows and see the community. If you wanna talk about that type of stuff. My niggas y'all see that. My niggas, y'all feel me? Like, you got you got niggas gonna, on. I'm you not got, gonna fry. You got like, things is cherry. When you got niggas. Fucked up. You got niggas right now that listen to the show. They pop the perk, drink some lean, and smoke. They don't. They don't want to hear about being tired. Look, look. You, I thought you were supposed to be real. And I'm joking, bro. Then no, I'm just joking, bro. Revenant Proof Information now, the best yeah, podcast. Yeah. The super fan KLM. He's telling you his stuff. People are tired of Family Guy. And Rick and Morty, uh, real talk. I'm not. I don't think Rick and Morty's funny. I mean, I heard you laughing. No, no, no. Entirely, it's not funny. I left real talk. The funniest Rick and Morty episode is the IC episode. I will watch the episode again. IC turned to a block of ice. Uh, he, he, it's just a hilarious episode. It's, it's it's genius if, in my opinion. It's it's on the level of South Park. That episode right there. You feel me? But I think a lot of the other stuff is just stupid stuff. You feel me? You're entitled to your own opinion. Right. And real That's one of the problems with Rick and Morty fans too. Though. They also had that problem. Like I'm a Rick and Morty fan, but people that us get mad if you don't find it funny. Like, yo, chill, comedy. Uh, Real Talk, Melford, and uh, KLM. What do you think HBO and the Boondocks is going to do? You feel me? And uh, I know, forgive me, because I was supposed to be boycotting HBO, but I'm sorry. They got too much stuff. They got Brian. They got the Boondocks. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I had to watch the Boondocks at some point in time. But, uh, uh, do y'all think HBO would carry the same legacy as Cartoon Network? They got all the same staff back, but I'm just curious. It's a different market. Do y'all think it would matter, or you I feel mean, me? Nowadays with Teen Titans Cartoon Network, maybe. But it's not on Cartoon Network no more. 
Like it's not no dog to swim no longer. Yeah. It's 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 only on HBO now. Not only, but HBO is picking up the new season. That's where it's gonna be uh aired at HBO. Instead of Adult Swim. Yeah, I'm I'm asking both of y'all, uh closing out the podcast, uh, do y'all think that it's gonna be as uh classic and legendary? I think it's gonna be because the original creator is on it, so I okay. think that's where the last season went wrong. To be honest, to be honest, I don't think the last season was as bad as people make it out to be. It doesn't have the same kind of. Uh, of course, but I don't think it was that bad. I think it was watchable. But K, then what's your opinion, bro? You feel me? Talk to us, nice. Yeah. I can't understand where people come from. I still like it. I still like it. But the flow was definitely, or like the pacing, I want to say, was more different. Like, you can feel the effect. Mm. In real talk, we're going to close the anime. I mean, <laughs> I said anime. Uh, anime super fan, DBZ super fans, round of applause for that brother. Carolyn. Ego, come soon. So, I like the fact that. We can all talk about hip hop on this panel and agree to a lot of artists that we like, such as Kendrick Lamar. Shout out to Tyler Creator. He is in Maryland this weekend. Uh, happy birthday to my man Sammy coming up. It's his birthday Sunday. What's he, he a cancer, right? Is he a cancer? I believe so. Say, uh, say, you say you don't keep up with the Zodiac? I can't hear you, bro. What happened? Yeah, I I don't keep up with stuff like that. I think people are too like focused on that, to be honest. And all, this is the last episode of Gen Lock, by the way. It went it went by so fast. But uh, yeah, shout out to everybody, man. Everybody support the podcast. My man Emilio, uh, Eric, the Freak Crew. Shout out to my man Damo. You feel me, Cuzzo? My man E. You feel me? Everybody on the freight team in general, that I rock with, y'all we know. Uh, shout out to anybody that support DMV, Virginia. And I just want to say, Vibes to be is on the same level as Kendrick Lamar. You feel me? That's my opinion. You feel me? And we're going to state that. Facts. So, KLM. TDE. Yo. TDE is supposed to be dropping a new album. Are you excited for that? Yeah, I think it's going to be dope. I hope Isaiah was shot on it. It's been a little minute since we have signed for him. Yeah, Zay Wap, Zay Wap. They say he was up next, but it's more so of a collaboration album. You feel me? I think that would be dope. Like, uh, that's what we need. I got like I got like a mixer tape, like a Dreamville TDE vibes You feel me And also SZA Heart Tape Is supposed to be dropping as well Dope Dope That one's gonna be a cool When is it supposed to come out During the winter right She said Sooner than later Okay so yeah It could be a cool Little winter vibe Or like Going into Halloween And Thanksgiving Then get into December That'll be fire And KLM uh, We are gonna drop My man KLM False Ego uh, I believe this, this should be out between Sunday and Monday. I'm gonna make sure the cover spiffy, the rest of the mix and everything. Fire take. Oh, yo, you hype for you. Just talk about your tape a little bit, bro. Like, you, you get the chills, you hype. I've been playing it around everywhere I go. I've been having the speaker, you feel me? Especially at work, just riding by. You know what I mean? I wasn't. I'm happy that it's coming out. But like really hype I'm just like I don't know I'm just kind of like I'm happy that it's coming out I just like express myself It's just a cool experience Right you If know, that makes sense No nah, nah, you understand But uh, You do have people That like you You feel me A lot You feel me And they actually ask for you Like yo Is bro cool uh, What's up with him They hear Melford a lot they was doing that for Melford until they heard Melford a lot. They still asked for him, but you feel me? They were like, yo, tell him check in. And uh, as far as my a lot of my Filipino support, 
they ask you actually to add them on Facebook as well. So, let's, you feel me? Try to branch out to the Philippines. Me and Mel Memo ask, actually had Filipino teachers, you feel me, in, uh, in Baltimore City and all that. So, we're familiar a little bit about the culture and uh, your Philippines cool, bro. I think Philippines are more down to earth. And shout out to Germany. We in Germany, man. Everybody supporting Germany. Uh, of course, everybody in America, Maryland. Uh, your mouth, you got anything you want to say, bro? Are we on the closing out? Yeah. Be, 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 nice. be creative. Express yourself, yo. Mm. I can't wait for that whiskey, bro. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. It's gonna be fire. Oh, also, I want to give a shout out to Young Mamel for I'm doing the design for Anxiety. Y'all gonna see that when it comes out. Ooh, and also when I throw Anxiety when it drop, it's gonna be the pre cover. And like I heard, Catlin Memo's gonna do something nasty to it, bro. You feel me? And everybody, yes, AK AK is good. I don't know if he's gonna do a podcast or not. You feel me? I asked him. But AK Gucci, you feel me? They, they like, uh, y- y'all know the, y'all know antisocial. They be bumping the joint. They say to rock off, you feel me? AK song hard, you feel me? So, uh, and, and never changed. They said he murdered the hook as well. And my progress with the music and all that, the album is crack. Uh, you feel me? D Max, you feel me, my man Midnight and Hickey, they take this fire, bro. So uh everybody keep showing love. Real talk, show love to KLM, bro. I'm gonna be pressing hard. Uh he worked hard, he really put his soul in this. I was running from step one of this, you feel me? I like co help co produce it. Uh and real talk, it's a masterpiece. Uh, and uh Yo, KLM how am I as like a co-producer And showing you the ropes as far as Different mixing and stuff like that I'm pretty chill Yeah Yeah And what? especially Especially with dreams With dreams that you're almost tight When you put that Billy and Mandy on it Yeah I surprise you Don't give away your theme bro Surprise me it's, Real talk can, When it can them his theme of anxiety His project is fire so uh yeah you feel me y'all just keep your eye out shout out to my man greedy again uh i'm gonna get my man greedy on the albums with the fire bro shout out to the you feel me kings and queens out there holding it down worldwide everybody support the podcast uh everybody that said that they like mouth opinions if y'all want to donate and purchase y'all can if y'all were just talking to talk, don't waste time. He's the artist. Uh, if y'all want to donate, donate. Like I said, click the links for streaming services for the podcast, as well as my man's Midnight Hickeys. You feel me? Just stay tuned for everything that's coming, man. New podcast drop every Fridays. <laughs> First class, that mass just to be clear. It's another junkie getting high. All dope pills crack on heroin in the state of Maryland. That bad news is not. More gymnology. His girlfriend is pregnant, and his mother is often driving around. Just pay attention to the description. Yo, I see this is a very complex thing. Hot duck, sober, and tipsy. It's a money for a shit for everybody. My album also fire, but you know, I got them drums on it. Oh, heavenly. That's peer pressure. Dig me. Sad reality is we still locked in them chains. 
Nobody care if we die. Nobody wanna make real change. Back. So they gon' make our ass get taxed every time, man. Them blocks poppin', niggas get the dropping quick, fast, man. Uh huh. Unity is only for those that's really woke, but they put them to sleep with a bullet, though. I can't believe they still wanna overachieve. We'll seek this. Get mad for niggas, sell them more weed So they kill them and take them out That's what they like to see uh -huh. And they sell them niggas guns to track it back to Eventually, listen, that's just how the game go You get it from your enemy I like you back in shackles And you wondering who riding on me Take your anger out with niggas that didn't do shit You was a nigga who in the hood that is a nuisance and gotta get new quick. You bringing us down, I can't believe that you trying to give us some daps and the pounds. If he can still shoot when it's down, like that shit cool to be around. I can't believe that shit so profound. A nigga shoot a school up and don't label him a terrorist for his color or religion is Muslim and they scared of him. Yeah. And Baltimore heroin never left the streets. Ron is not an yeah, man. Man. Many of his It's not class, but yeah. it's just to be clear. It's a junkie getting high. All those pills crack or heroin. It's a state of Maryland. You crazy? No, not really. It's a Yeah, it's not in the middle of the day, you know, yes, it's a number of junkies getting high. Yeah. Yeah. Hot enough, so more and tipsy. It's in the same everywhere. What up, Smokey? Yeah. 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 What's your manality? If things are still the same, why not come and help me? I feel you, baby. Yeah, shit is crazy. Yeah, I know. That's all I know. The murder rap and wreck shit. It's kinda sad that niggas doing drugs is anorexic. Everybody on drugs, nigga, I said that. Yeah. This all I know to give you my pain and glory. So please glorify my hatred as I continue to tell you these Maryland tales. To solidify my hip hop glory. The days at the, the chosen one. Chose death over slavery. Changed somehow so has a cause and effect on my people. But the kings and queens admire you for your bravery. Barely myself, let's get the class at Morgan State. I hope you can bear with me while I I don't mean to complain, but why that's how I currently meditate I'm playing chess with my rhymes now, and that definitely was a checkmate The beauty of your mornings and the loneliness of your night Falls to the cause of vibration and complexion I'm so depressed from my wicked depression That everything in the shadows of darkness Even blocked out my own reflection Can't believe that I missed the exit Continue life of misery Hopefully the judge Does the sense me? Are you gonna sense the king and shackles and all things? The feeling of abandonment is shared by many. Drug policy experts say that the whole issue of drugs has fallen off the political radar. The war in Iraq uh, and the economy are the dominant political issues in the country at this particular time. The fear factor that relates to violence associated with drugs has diminished significantly. It may no longer make national news, but the gun battles and drug-related violence has never stopped in the city. The murder rate here is seven times the national average. In the streets of Baltimore, it is common to come across what people call memorials. You can see them in lampposts and also sometimes in trees. These places symbolize where young people were murdered, mostly because of drugs. And people come here to pray for their memory. More than half of the black male population under 30 in Baltimore is either in prison or on parole. Cornell is a former drug dealer. Since he got out of jail three years ago, he spends his time in poor neighborhoods trying to help vulnerable teenagers. I stay locked up 19 years and nine months. I pray to God that no one else has to go that far before they really wake up to what's really going on in life. Now, we all make mistakes, and this is one of the reasons why they think race is all possible, because nobody is perfect. One generation helping the next. But I make it right now, it's not big. In a city desperately in need of budget.